Hello, 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 hello. Hello, what are we talking about today? Oh, girl, we're talking about Miss Ellen. I don't really care that much about Ellen, to be honest. <laughs> but I don't like shady people. Yeah. I don't like people not living in their truth and not presenting who they actually are on camera or for their brand. We see this a lot on Drag Race where people are like, kiki, kiki, on True. camera. And then you hear a lot of bad things True. behind the behind the scenes. True. And to be quite frank, I can believe it too. She does look like she might be like behind the scenes. She might be a bitch. I've only seen her once at Maxfield in LA and the type of energy that people are referring to is the type of energy. I, yeah, it's like something where it's there. just like, which is like, when you, sometimes there's a person which is like, I can't believe that. When this started coming forward, I was just like, yeah, mm -hmm. I can kind of see it. And I'll preface with everything we're going to say today with, I don't think you could be everything to everybody in this world. Like, I don't think you necessarily That's should say hi to every single person, hug every person, make everybody feel like, you know, they're being heard, you know, in terms of just everyday interaction. But, you know, there's a lot of things that are gonna come up, like working with people for two years, um, people being invited for interviews and being very mm -hmm. rude, and you don't want people uncomfortable in your own home. Right. you know or in your own space so let's get break into down. the break down yeah we'll bring give you guys a whole history of how this all started and all of it right exactly so, so um the i guess he's a comedian kevin t porter right now the world needs a little kindness you know like ella degeneres always talks about she's also notoriously one of the meanest people alive mm -hmm. respond to this the most insane stories you've heard about ellen being mean and i'll match everyone with a two dollar donation basically to la food bank now this tea you know people do tweets like this all the time about celebrities they never really go anywhere they never really get heard right but i guess this growing sentiment this growing underbelly about ellen really was there and then mm -hmm. it took off <laughs> right and he kind of yeah he kind of started it uh -huh. he pretty much started it Right. So these are some of the tweets that came in. And this actually came into um, detox of old people. An old friend worked on her lot and smiled and said good afternoon to her one day. And she became an hinge. Who do you think you are? You don't dare look at me, yada, yada. She said Portia was with her and seemed embarrassed and tried to calm her down. Has forever changed my opinion of her. But the thing about this is, this is coming from your friend. It didn't actually happen to you. But that being said, it's mm -hmm. just like, you're gonna be like, if your friend is saying it, it's like, why would they make up a lie mm -hmm. too? So it's it's true. So, and it's nice that she's the one saying it for the friend because more weight does come when it's from the celebrity. Right. So that's true too. Like I used to work in LA more in that sort of celebrity styling world for about three to five years. And so you hear about the same people over and over again. Like you hear about how awful Katherine Heigl is through several stylists. So, you know, when many people are saying one thing, there is an element of truth because everybody has their bad days, you know, maybe right. it's just an ugly moment, but when things come up again and again and again, true, it's a character flaw. Very more true. so than you're exactly. just not feeling at that moment. True. Another tweet, my sister worked for the Ellen Show for two years, and this is from her. I saw Ellen in the hallways every day and would say to Hello, and she never once said hello back. She wouldn't smile. She wouldn't even acknowledge me at all for two seasons. And like we said, you can't be friendly to every single person you interact with at a studio or on a lot or at a photo shoot, you right. know, but just a smile, right. an acknowledgement of the eyes, right. especially after two seasons, right. there's no excuse to be that unkind for that length of time. And what's funny is that's, that's what I was saying. Like I could see her ignoring, like she seems like she would ignore someone who mm -hmm. she doesn't seem as value, who she doesn't even valuable or she seems they're not yeah. important. I could see her just walking past them. Like, don't talk to me. I can, right. I can actually believe it. And like I said, you know, so this person was probably like an associate assistant producer yeah. on the show, you know, they come and go, you know, one season, two seasons, three seasons. You can't have this deep relationship with every single person you work with. It's impossible. No, but you but, can at least smile. But at least a friendly demeanor, a pleasant demeanor, yeah. you know, that is necessary for the workplace. And especially when your name is on the door. Yeah, exactly. 
When I was 15 at the Ellen Show was doing a contest of fans making the best of her and sending to her. I worked so hard on this and even wrote a letter. Weeks later, she used it as a prop and a game and gave it away to a random person with $500 attached to the bottom. And this is just like crude. I remember once I had to do like a physical storyboard for a magazine for a test for a job. And like, I mean, the storyboard was almost as tall as me. And like, you know, I had to carry it down there, you know, the whole nine. I asked for that thing back, I think for six months. And I was like, you know, cause it was like in my portfolio mm-hmm. holder. And it's just kind of like a thing of like, physical property like you need to like respect that and how hard was it what did you get the job i didn't get the job so So they were where's the tea they threw it away bitch yeah oh shit (laughs) yeah and so and it was like i didn't really care so much about the foam core board but like the holder you know it was red paper but it wasn't that expensive but at the end of the day i could have used it again for something else oh she gave me frugal yeah girl this this was in the early 2000s things weren't as expensive oh honey no this was later this was like when i went back to new york this was like 212 I was broke. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you could have used it again. That's true. But so, then take your own ass down to Dwayne Reed and get you one. It wouldn't have more two dollars. Uh, oh, girl, we're not talking poster. We're talking like foam core from like you know. The I mean, Office Depot rather, yeah. or, or an art store. But yeah, you're right. No, yeah, those those, like, those are expensive. Canal now. Street Art Supplies. Those yeah. are expensive. You're right. Yeah. But um, yeah. So that that just speaks to her character to me because at the end of the at the end of the day, it's a 15 year old girl. Mm-hmm. Like you know, she's gonna. She's so happy to meet her to talk to Ellen and. And then you do that to her, and she's obviously going to see it. It's just like, it shows you don't give a acknowledgement, fuck. email acknowledgement, we're going to use your prop in this way, we're going to compensate exactly. you, or we're going to run your name in the credit. Exactly. So something, you know, would, a, some type of acknowledgement from, not even Ellen, just one of the producers would have been kind. Right. Yeah, like acknowledge it, just like, it's mm-hmm. just like, I don't care who it is, we're just going to use it as a prop. So this it's one really, really bothered. I worked at Real Food Daily and served her and Portia at brunch. She wrote a letter to the owner and complained about my chip nail polish. Not that it was on her plate, but just that it was on my hands. I worked till closing that night before and was in the next morning. Almost got me fired. Now that... I despise people who are rude. Well, that's a very Karen thing to do. Mm -hmm. That's a very Karen thing to do, actually. I really actually do feel this is true because this story actually carried some weight and was in several media outlets and this woman actually has a comedy show mm-hmm. is a comedian and had told the story even before, before the yeah, story before had this, broke out. Yeah. And, you know people just don't make these things up you right. know it's just it's just too random and too almost small you right. know to make up no one yeah. really care and but it's like if you have the time to do that and then you don't have the time to say hi to an associate producer in the hallway. Right. That speaks volumes. True. About who you are. Very, very true. It's just like, don't pay it. Mind your business. Don't worry about her nails, bitch. Mm-hmm. So here she is on her comedy show, The Woman in Question with a Chip Nail Polish. So, of course, um, Ellen comes out with the mea culpa, you know, the, the sad crocodile tears at the trillion dollar home. And so she has a more extended statement, but this is a brief abbreviation. On day one of her show, I told everyone at our first meeting that the Ellen DeGeneres show will be a place of happiness. No one would ever raise their voice and everyone would be treated with respect. DeGeneres will apologize in their letter to the staff about reports allegations. Obviously something has changed. I am disappointed to learn that this has not been the case. For that, I am sorry. Anyone who knows me is the opposite of what I believed and what I hope for our our show. Now, a lot of the news reports have really blamed the executive producers Mm -hmm. of the show. They are the poison that is poisoning the show. But at the same time, a lot of these just unkind interactions have been coming out about Ellen. True. Then Ellen sort of has a history of comedically being, getting into these uncomfortable confrontations on her show. So Mariah Carey was actually pregnant in this um, still clip that we have here. And then, by the way, this is such an un-Mariah outfit, so I wonder why... I know, she looks like a fucking defense lawyer. Uh, yeah. So, but then she was basically be like, oh, prove that you're not pregnant. Have a drink with me. And she was actually pregnant with twins at the time. Yeah. And these, unfortunately, were the twins that Mariah miscarried. So before the twins that she actually had. Right. 
So it was just very like that's messy. especially when you're on camera. That's so uncomfortable to be refusing. She the forced host her or the reporter, and that was just very poor taste. Yeah, that was that was no, that was. Then yeah, there was another much. issue with Nikki tutorials. Now Nikki came out as trans a few years ago and Ellen had her on the show and basically had went back to Sweden, her home mm-hmm. country, and went on some Swedish shows saying Talk that show. basically was not that kind to her. Right. And it's like I said And didn't shake her hand at the end. Yeah, it didn't shake her hand at the end. And like I said, it's like this is your house. This is on right. the stage where you live. Why would you not want to make your guest right. feel comfortable she came to, to your have home, basically. some exactly. camaraderie that would come out on your show that mm-hmm. has more name? Very true. Yeah. Ooh, honey, that yeah. That, when Nikki started saying that, I was just like, ooh, that's when I, that first mm-hmm. was like, oh, when I started noticing it. Mm-hmm. And then it's gotten worse since then. So, of course, the ratings are down, down, down for Ellen. And so it's mainly reruns right now, but it's fungi- even Dr. Oz is doing better than her in the ratings in right reruns, now. Yeah. Reruns. So it, you know, it's just, you reap what you sow, you know? So True. you, you know, really, um, you know, what you put out into the world is what you get back. And, mm-hmm. you know, they're saying that, you know, she may be replaced with James Corden. She may be replaced with Kristen Bell. And it's um, Kristen Bell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kristen Bell, because she does a little, little clips, mm. little uh, guest spots on her show. So. Kristen Bell could be interesting. Yeah, Kristen Bell would be <laughs> But I like, but I thought James Corden already had a show. Well, saying switching over to this format, way more money. Oh. Yeah. He is a gag. James Corden's a gag. He'd be a good replacement. So this is one of Ellen's underwear boys. And so he basically is saying that, you know, she's a kind, genuine person. Since joining the Ellen family, I've been blessed to represent her, her brand, everything she stands for, to be kind, to love yourself and who you are. I am proud to be able to represent a trailblazer of her time and one of the most influential figures in the LGBTQ plus community. Thank you for all you've done and continue to make this world a better place for So all. this I saw while I was scrolling on Instagram and I was just like, oh, okay, well, there are people who are coming to her defense and then since then and then this is just one from like a non-celebrity if you will and then celebrities also have been coming forward mm-hmm. to get into those yeah so you know no one's really made an extended statement of any kind besides Portia but Carrie Katy Perry tweeted um, she's only ever had positive takeaways from both G- generous and her show Kevin Hart said um, she's one of the dopest people on the planet. The thing about that is, it's just like, do we trust anything coming from you? Because you're not the best human to begin with. Right. So I don't really trust you anyway. Right. But And then other celebs like Jay Leno who says he refused to discard a 40-year friendship on Hearsay. And Jay was the one who discovered Ellen was the first person to have True. Ellen on her his show. That makes sense. When and then Asher Krisha said it was refreshing that she never pandered to celebrity. Mm-hmm. So it's a space to watch. I she um, came out with those comedy specials on Netflix, mm-hmm. and then New York Times did a really extended piece on her, and she had alluded that she was tired of doing the show, that she wanted to end it, and that Portia was really the one who convinced her to keep it going because Portia wants that money. <laughs> yeah, so you like you, you keep paying for my stuff, right, honey. Because Portia didn't want to go back to some cheesy TV show for cash, <laughs> right? So it, well, don't read Scandal though. Scandal was good, but yes. Yeah. It's, you know, it's been a little more than 15 years now, and it's probably just run its course. Even if the scandal didn't happen, mm-hmm. it probably yeah. just naturally ended the way, you know. And she was doing two things. So she was doing that and the game show, so. <laughs> right, exactly. So she was, she was busy. And, you know, you just kind of want to move on to other things. I think that format, especially now with the way the world is moving, I think that talk show format's going to get really stale for True. people of just kind of being cheesy and promoting their products that way talking about the real true you know issues or the real you know just people being more genuine it's very, very camp it's very yeah johnny carson in the way that it's very yeah well then, yeah with everything going on now we kind of want to talk about serious issues mm-hmm. at least every once in a while and that's not that's not her thing yeah so we'll see. Like I said, I'm not that vested in her staying on the air, going off the air, but I do think there is something to be say in authenticity and that mm-hmm. you really need to do that line 
from when you wake up at 6 a.m. in the morning until you go to bed yeah. at 11 that night. So, you know. I don't know. Do What do you think? Should she be canceled? What's the tea? Yeah, so let us know in the comments what's yeah. your thing. Well, no, what do you think? Though? Oh, what do I? Oh, you're asking me what I think. I thought you were asking the audience. I mean, them too, though. Um, I just think it's time. Like I said, I just think that even if this didn't happen, it's just time to her probably move on to some other stuff. She's yeah. got a ton of money. I mean, she could live, as she narrowed, took down her lifestyle, she could live comfortably the rest of her life. So, you know, For sure. she never worked again. So, um, she is a trailblazing LGBTQ yes. icon, especially in the lesbian space. There would have yeah. been. There been um, you know, and what she did with her show and, you know, the kiss with Laura Dern, you know, in the 90s, that was just unheard of, well, you know, at the time. Actually, know what we didn't add? Wasn't there some, like, POC stuff from the producer standpoint, from behind the scenes, Oh, I'm actually. sure, I'm sure, yeah. Definitely. There was some of that, too, sure, but... So, so I mean, the, it, it seems like the whole the Ellen... Whole, mm-hmm, the whole atmosphere machine is very is, ill. Yeah, so... Very Ill. What do you think? Um... I don't know. It's it's hard when it comes to canceling because it's like, but the thing is, there's strength in numbers too. So when this many people are coming forward with stories, it's true. It's like it has to be true mm-hmm. when it's this many. So, but it's also just tricky with canceling. It's just like, is this something where she can learn from it and change? So is it like, is it is it, did she do anything that was so serious that it's worth canceling? You know how like with the, like the, how the other celebrities have done like things that are just so unacceptable that they needed to be canceled. Did things she do? Is it quite that, or is this more minor? Minor, and she should be able to give a chance to repay us. Like I don't know, it's tricky because it's not like she did like a Bill Cosby kind of thing right, or something. Right, so it's like right. that's obvious. Just, you cancel her. This is something like and like you said, it, it's a lot of hearsay. So like yeah, and it's, said, yeah, this is more hearsay. You know, and like, but then like I said, though strength in numbers though so this many people are coming forward with stories it does be like well is her character like that so no it's hard but it's it's not again but then it's not as big so does it deserve cancellation no but i think it well, i think she should apologize like you know what i reassessed she did she i mean she did that extended apology yeah but like again like kind of like address each person like i think that would be near impossible i think it'd be all los angeles and montecito <laughs> but just say something where it's just like I've <laughs> I've seen all of these complaints and I'm going to change if she wants to keep the show that is. But I don't know. But canceling her altogether to, in, in the sense of like we never support her, never listen to her again. Like I don't know. If that's necessarily the route. But then at the same time too, it's like if she truly is a horrible person, we shouldn't be supporting her too. So it's just like I don't know. I wish we had video. Yeah, that, that no video. I like. One. I really wish we had video because then you'd be like, here. There's, there's no proof. Yeah, yeah. like full on print. Bitch, you're chopped. You tried it. The video would help. But yeah, and well, it's early. Maybe somebody got some. I know. Let's just keep a tape recorder at all times. But then she's not filming anymore, so we can't really get her. Right, right. She's she up in that mansion, honey, and counting her money. That's true. So now, so you only can use hearsay. But like I said, though, I can truly believe these stories, though. So. It's just like, I feel like I'm like, it's just like, there's so few LGBT icons that there's like, I automatically have pause when it comes to canceling one. Mm-hmm. I think that's what it is. But then it's like, if you're a horrible person too, you also deserve to be canceled. Yeah. So it sucks either way. All right. Well, let us know. You want yeah. Ellen to stay? You want Ellen to go? If you got yeah. a story, share with us. Yes, yeah, share. We will highlight it. <laughs> yes. All right, Ronald, what are they going to do? Subscribe below, you guys. Repost, retweet, like, like all of that. All right. Bye. Bye.